Hi, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. So, in this video, we'll talk about uh, uh, the one more uh, probable interview question related to decision boundary. All right. In the previous video, we had seen uh, uh, related to BPSK and uh, as well as uh, the different flavors of that question. So, in this video, I will mainly talk about the decision boundary for QPSK and different flavors of that question, and we'll try to touch upon other modulation schemes. All right. So, before getting into the concept, uh, one request uh, I am seeing uh, from the analytics that. There are many new viewers which are coming to the channel and watching the videos but uh, they are not subscribing i would request them to subscribe to the channel uh, so that it increases my motivation to bring in more and more interesting videos all right with that let's get started so first question is qpsk what is the decision boundary of the qpsk okay so the answer is that so let's say this is the qpsk uh, given for example so QPSK constellation diagram. Now, what is the decision boundary? See, all these points are equidistance from the uh, equidistance from the origin. That is uh, uh, first thing. The second thing is that all are uh, uh, equiprobable. So that is another point. So with that, um, then definitely you know um, you know if we want to draw the decision boundary, uh, we need to give equal areas uh, to all of these things. So my decision boundary will be actually you know this is the decision boundary. So if you have transmitted this, then uh, you know if uh, my received uh, sample lies anywhere here, then I will decode it as uh, let's say this is a zero zero. So then I will decode it as zero zero. Okay. I think uh, this is uh, pretty much straightforward, and uh, actually there is nothing much to discuss. Uh, uh, all right, um, this will be a very simple question. But uh, what would be usually asked in the interview? So the different flavors of it, right? So let's say this is the QPSK system. But uh, what uh, I would do is I will not transmit all the three points. Let's say I will transmit only sorry all the four points. I will, I will transmit only three points, and there is uh, no point chosen from here. Okay, let us say uh, this is how I, I would go for it. Then how would my constellation look like? Oh, sorry, how would my uh, decision boundary look like? Okay, so definitely for these two points, uh, you know, uh, for these two points, this is the addition boundary, right? So for these two points, because you, let's say you draw the line, and since these two are of equidistance uh, from this, uh, uh, you know, the um, sorry x axis, so if you want to give the equal uh, area, then you know, this will become the addition boundary. Now, what about this one? So, this will become the decision boundary. Okay. So, now what about for, uh, you know, between these two points? How do you draw? You need to draw a perpendicular uh, bisector to this line, right? To, the, to this present. That will be, um, you know, like this. So, my decision, okay, I will write uh, in the way. So, my decision boundary would, sub, would look something like this. All right, I think uh, it is clear. Um, so if uh, there is a received point, received sample, which is lying at this point, what would you decode? This is near to this point, you would decode as this one. Okay, let's say this is one one, then you would decode it as one one. Okay, I just took it as an example. So now the, what could be the other flavor? So let's say uh, the question could be like, Okay, um, I have uh, the QPSK system. Okay, so but uh, I will choose uh, my uh, you know my constellation points as like this. Then how would you actually choose the decision boundary? What would be the decision boundary in this case? So first, uh, you know, let me draw the line. Let's say all are of equidistance from each other and uh, all of them are of uh, equiprobable so that is one point since, since three points is there uh, equiprobable it should be one by three right so what about uh, uh, in this case equiprobable means uh, one by four you know we need to draw the perpendicular bisector over here okay something like uh, this would be the perpendicular bisector and for this line i think this would be perpendicular bisector this will be perpendicular bisector so 
this is the decision boundary this is how it would look like since all are equally probable or all are of equal distance from each other so the you know my decision boundary would look like this so if uh, uh, any point falls at this point then or this point this point this point basically in this area it would all be decoded it as this particular point okay i hope uh, the three different uh, flavors of qpsk is uh, um, clear to you um, but there is one more question in qpsk okay so that is with respect to okay i will come here only i will come to this diagram so in this again i, I had consider equi probable and uh, you know which means all of them are 1 by 3 right so this is one point this is one point this is one point now another flavor could, could be not equi probable okay um let's say let's say uh, you know um let's say that uh, this is 1 by 4 1 by 4 and this is 1 by 2 how would my um, you know decision boundary look like so i am leaving to you guys to answer this question so please uh, do comment in the comment section what would be the answer for this all right so now qpsk is done but uh, you know there are many uh, uh, questions which would be asked uh, uh, in case of uh, interviews so let's say so let's say 16 qam i'm taking it so what about decision boundary here okay so again you need to draw so let's say this is a this is a line like again you need to draw the perpendicular right like that i'm not uh, actually drawing it correctly but this is how the decision boundary would look like okay for this point for this point anything lies here will be decoded as this point okay but for what about for this point anything lies here it can go up to infinity also anything lies in this region will be decoded as this and for about for this point anything in this region okay let it go to infinity let it go to infinity anything in this region will be decoded as this point all right i hope you got the clarity for 60 16 qam like that you can write it for 64 qam and things like that but uh, the reason why i am uh, even uh, you know writing all these points or uh, you know in interview why these questions could be asked is you know from here there could be another question saying that can you derive the probability of a uh, probability uh, of error for uh, 64 qam maybe So you need to derive the equation. At least for one one of the like for one of the points, uh, it would be asked specifically. Can you derive for this, or can you derive for this, and what about for this? Okay. So I think uh, the things are clear here. Uh, in the upcoming video, let us see. Uh, you know, since um, the probability of error derivation would be asked for 64 qam, let us not do the 64 qam and all. That is, I will leave to you guys. But at least uh, you know probability of error for uh, uh you know a uh, bpsk should be known and done and if we know the bpsk from here you know doing 64 qam would be easy so with this i will wind up uh, please do subscribe for more videos thank you very much have a great day bye bye